So in the next portion of the workout, we're on location at my house outdoors. I got my outdoor workstation because we're gonna go over what's called your daily routine, which I stole from Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker was known for doing tons of push-ups, pull-ups, dips, and all kinds of body weight exercises that made him a total freak. So I said, why not add in some of that stuff every day? And then the days that you're not in the gym, escalate the reps and do that as your workout. So literally you can do it in the gym, in a hotel, out in your yard, wherever it may be. And I'm gonna show you the exercises that you have to do each day and the other exercises that you can add in if you have the opportunity or have those things available to you. We're gonna get this thing rolling right now. So people are starting to ask me, why do you think the body weight training was so important in this trainer? And honestly, mastering your body weight all the way from Bruce Lee to Herschel Walker, no matter who it is, it's important. The fact that you can do push-ups, pull-ups, dips, and all those things that effortlessly will make your physique just look so much more enhanced, so much more dense, freaky, and at the end of the day, you should be able to do with your body weight all those type of movements. And so I thought every day, if you're touching on those movements, and then whenever your, your workout outside the gym is happening, that you just be able to blow through 100, 200, 250 push-ups, that's pretty important for your physique. So the recap, three days in the gym and three days out of the gym with those daily requirements sprinkled in there, that's what makes this trainer completely unique. We're gonna start off with the most basic body weight exercise that everybody likes to do, which is called push-ups. On your daily routine, you're gonna be required to do 50 to 100 push-ups, and on your routine that's out of the gym, you're gonna be required to do 150 to 200 with hopefully working up to 250 push-ups. Now, we just wanna go all the way down, touch the chest, all the way lock them out each time. Rep through those push-ups, and you can do them in sets of five, 10, 20, 30, 50, whatever kind of oomph you got, you gotta bring it. So it's no secret, one of my favorite exercises for abs is the ab wheel. And a lot of people ask me, why do you think the ab wheel works so good? So when you're doing a regular crunch, that's like just pumping your bicep with uh, no weight in it. But when you're doing the ab wheel, that's like pumping your bicep with 20 pounds, but building thickness in your stomach. So when you get lean, they look nasty. Buy you a $10 ab wheel. You can put this in your bag. You can take it anywhere. There are daily requirements. going to be 25 to 50. And the big boy requirement outside the gym is going to be 50 to 100. Now, at my best, I was doing 100 a day for a long time, and it can build some crazy abs. So get to it. So the next exercise is weighted crunches. You wanna make sure that stomach looks good when you guys are done with this trainer. You're gonna use a 25 pound plate, put it right at the base of your head. We want that plate to sit right by where your hands would normally be to add added resistance to your stomach. Now if you don't have a plate at your house, you can always go with textbooks or something heavy that you can put behind your head that's very similar. You want it to be between 10 to 25 pounds. Your daily requirements are gonna be 50 to 100 reps, and your requirements when you're outside the gym are gonna be 100 to 200. The next exercise is the squat, just the air squat. No weight on your back, nothing, just your body weight. Now that's one of the best movements for strength that the body can actually perform. We wanna make sure that your squat's done right, knees behind the toes, dip your hips down, and this right here just builds overall strength and helps with metabolic rate. I really believe that the body can continue to squat daily. And uh, if you follow me on social media, you've seen that I've squatted at this point in time for over 150 days straight and had great results. So we had to keep these in the daily requirements. We're looking at 50 to 100 reps on your daily requirement and outside the gym, 150 to 200. And I'm telling you, it's gonna pay big dividends on that physique. All right, so now we've already went over the four exercises that you have to do on your daily requirements and outside the gym. We're gonna add two more for extra credit. If you're trying to take that physique to another level, you gotta add in pull-ups and dips. Now this is also if you have access to these pieces of equipment, but right now I also think you add in every day 25 to 50 pull-ups. Yeah, I said 25 to 50. And then outside the gym, it's gonna be 50 to 100 if you got that. Also on dips, 25 to 50 and 25 to 50. And then you got that full blown Herschel Walker, Bruce Lee type of body weight stuff you're doing every day and outside the gym. And that's what's gonna take it to another level. <laughs>